Sheep goes back with a new game. This is 60 seconds reatomized. I was asked a couple times to play it. It looks it looks stupid. <laughs> but I, I've never played, so we're gonna give this a shot today. I might do the odd episode of this from time to time. Whoa, aliens! No, just a dude startled me. <laughs> so we're gonna jump into this and see how this goes. Um, new game. All right, new game. Select the type of atomic adventure. Atomic drill, challenge, scavenge, apocalypse. That's what I want. Select character. Ted or Dolores? Let's be... Oh, do we want to be Dolores? Let's be Dolores. I think, I think that... I think Ted looks like a little... Just like washed out, you know? Like he's not all there. So I'm going to be Dolores. And select difficulty. We'll just start on the Fat Man Adventure because it's already there. Let's do this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Keep up with the world even after it ends. An atomic adventure awaits. Okay, what do we do? I I'm not sure. How, how do I? Uh, okay. Uh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta pick things up. Got this, got this, got this. I should probably get the chuck. No, no, I can't. No. Nope, no room, no room. Okay, what do I do with this stuff? Ah! Okay, okay, put it here. All right, grab this. Put it here. This is not gonna go very well if this is as fast as you move, Dolores. Okay, come on. Okay, we're, we're there's children in this house. We gotta save them, scapegoat, come on. Okay, get the child, get the child. Okay, family members, assemble. Oh, good lord. Um, um, okay, the father, the father. Okay, I can't move. Go, go, go. Okay, we gotta, come on, pick you up. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, I didn't, I don't, I think there's more people in the family. Oh, no. <laughs> Soup. <laughs> oh no! What happened? What happened? Oh, that went so bad. I, I, there's no like explanation of how this works. All I got was soup and one water. What's this? All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy is a real work in your favor. Plus one lock. Our cells are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We'll have to ration it strictly. Time to ration supplies. So let's see. We only got two water. So you get soup. You get soup. You get soup. And you get soup. Nobody gets any water. It's not easy to be calm in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep peace or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival of the fittest and all. Okay. Day two. <laughs> okay, everybody's looking a little, uh, we got this key here. What's this? Oh, there's a bug. Get out of here, bug. Busy. Okay, let's see. Being stuck in such a tiny shelter would make anyone a bit apathetic. We need to stay calm and await rescue. Surely they're coming for us, right? Dolores is doing quite well, or just can't find anything to complain about today. Ted is fine. It's impressive how well Mary Jane is handling the situation. She looks fine today. Timmy's on his best behavior. How long will it last? Who will eat today? Well, everybody's getting soup. All right, so I think we're all right for water at the moment. Okay, let's see. Contamination right down is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions would result in radiation sickness. Tends to be really good shape for a trip. Oh, okay, so we don't want to go out. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than a cat. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. <laughs> Use it! Go! Oh, ho, ho, ho! What happened? What does, did something happen? I don't even know what's going on! <laughs> What is it? 
Our cans are safe. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still on top of the food chain. Good for us. Dolores will not last long without water. Alton wishes for a few drops of water. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. Okay, so they can go. Y'all can have water today, but you don't get no soup. Because we only have two. We're so screwed. Let's see. Ah, everybody's in good shape for a trip. It's still irradiated. Going to Wasteland now is unsafe. All right. What's this? Uh, we've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done. Like trimming that shrubbery in the air yard. That's definitely something we want to do when we get out of here. We've been here for 18 days. This is day three. All right, moving on. Let's see what happens. I can't believe people want me to play this. This doesn't seem like the type of game people would want me to play. Day four. The Geiger counter is relaxing. I can hear that. Everybody looks happy-ish. Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. Dolores is no longer thirsty. No one's thirsty anymore. Uh, nobody's going to get anything because that would be terrible. Mary Jane insists she doesn't feel complete without her musical instrument. If she hit it well, maybe her tuba is still safe somewhere in the ruins of our house. A reminder of her hobbies and what life used to be might cheer up a bit and make the situation easier for her. Should we let her out for a quick look around the house? Okay, you know what, Mary Jane? Go for it, baby. <laughs> Just don't come back green. Oh, day five. Ah, she's gone. Is she dead? Is she, oh, God, we, did we kill her? What happened? Mary Jane got very excited and we agreed to let her look for her too, but she said if she can't find the instrument, she'll settle for anything else. She just can't find, just like some sheet music. We sure hope the tuba didn't make it. We're pretty sure we prefer radio static, even the sweet sound of silence. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay? Timmy's good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Soup! Nobody's getting squat. Bleep. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still haven't. <laughs> we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. That's good news. Is they're probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they're huge. They'll probably attack us when they get a chance. We don't have anything to fight them off with. We definitely did not collect enough supplies. The whole beginning caught me off guard so bad. We're so dead. Hey, you're back. What's this radioactive cockroach here? Yuck, I'm eating cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there's another, and there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We're already feeling all dirty. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. Dolores can't remain this thirsty for long. Ted needs water. Timmy has been talking with nothing other than water. He should drink something. All right. That's all our water. All right. We got to... How do we send somebody... We had the most curious visitor today. One of them... Okay. We don't have anything. Okay. Scheduled expedition for tomorrow. All right. Let's do that. All right, let's go. I want to see if I can get us to get... I, we have to go out. We're, we're, what happened? What was that noise? All right, let's see what this is. Uh, who should go outside? Uh, we'll send Dad. You know what, Ted? Go go do your thing, buddy. <laughs> go, go, go. go do your thing, man. T Ted? Oh, look, she looks disheveled, man. Let's see. Ted left for the surface. Let's see. Timmy's okay. Dolores has not eaten for a while, but soup is getting slim, to say the least. A group of doctors knocked on the door requesting some supplies that would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We <laughs> didn't doubt they were real deal for a second. They didn't have lab coats and everything. Shall we help them? I can't help them because I have nothing. I was terrible at the beginning of the game. Oh, man. See, this is what happens when you don't prepare for things. Look, there's all our soup. Who's not eating soup today? We don't think they're real doctors, but just in case they were, we got rid of them quickly before they could start charging us for a home visit. Dolores is no longer hungry. Dolores not last long without water. We should get Mary Jean something to drink. Some water for Timmy would be nice. We don't have any water. I don't have a radio. <laughs> it's high time we stop wondering what's going on and start asking questions or at least listen to some reasonable answers. 
So how about tuning to a radio station and learning a thing or two about the Brave New World? I don't own any of these things because I did such a bad job at the beginning. We're not going to make past day 12. We're going to run out of food and water. Let's see. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what might be... But what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Dolores will not survive without water any longer. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Yeah, we're screwed. There's nothing here. Eat soup. You know what? That's all we got. Eat the soup. We have none of these things. Teddy, did you bring back some water, buddy? Oh, I'm pretty sure Ted's dead at this point. Our new cockroach roommate can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying, but surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyway. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince him to pay rent. Dolores will not survive without water. I don't have anything. I have nothing. I have nothing for you. I don't even have anything. I have nothing. This, this, this is over already. <laughs> day 12. I made it 12. Well, you know what? Two weeks. When you don't know what you're doing, everybody's dead, and you're back. I mean, you brought soup. And now you're going to tell you her skeleton is here. Well, Teddy, um, if there's one thing we need to do, it's use a radio on a regular basis to catch any emergency broadcasts that might be transmitted in our area. It's either that or it's strolling around outside waiting to get picked up. The first option sounds a bit more sane. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. When we came back to the shelter, we were relieved to discover that it was still locked. The padlock carries signs of an attempted break-in, but whoever gave it a try did not succeed in getting inside. Sadly, the padlock is in a sorry state and can't really use it anymore. Atomic wastelands are hostile by definition, but there are some creatures that survive everything you throw at them, even nuclear bombs. One of them is a monkey who seemed to be through a lot, and it was very lively and more than happy to accompany us on our expedition. While we explored one of the streets, our monkey companion ran away only to come back later, carry a can of food that couldn't open itself, but is happy to share it with us. Well, we had a few drops of water. We could have avoided what happened. Dolores died of dehydration last night. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Ted is really tired. When Mary Jane found out she was not getting a single drop of water, she got furious. She stormed out into the wasteland, shouting over her shoulder that we'll regret this and that she's getting her water one way or another. We're seriously terrified right now. Lack of water drove Timmy insane. He opened the shelter door, ran away without looking back. He's not likely to return. Well... Look at this, bud. You're by yourself now. I think uh, you're going to die from never having any water. Ooh, our patience is wearing thin. We <laughs> it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside. Do there's any trouble in the area? As we're sure about the step out, a pair of animal eyes flash in the darkness, and their owners started growling in a much terrifying way. We only have moments to decide what to do. Flashlight, because that's what I have. Day 14. What happened? What? <laughs> I like you got to read about it. We decided to check out what's coming for us with one of our, with our flashlight. Guess what it was? A dog. The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning, we opened the door and let it out. It still hadn't returned. Hopefully, we'll come back later. Ted is hungry. Ted is still mighty tired and needs more time to recover his strength. All right. Well, here you go. Have some soup, Ted. Because <laughs> you're the only one who's left alive. Uh, he's no condition to go outside. Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we'd never hear a telephone signal again, and suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figured it's the phone booth across the street. Should someone go answer it? Yeah, Ted, go, bud. You're by yourself. Go see what's up. Someone's knocking on the outside of our thing. Okay. The dead body of his wife there is kind of creepy. It's all going out. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. Hey, is that like the one from uh, Back to the Future? That'd be cool. We had started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they got back to us. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted isn't hungry anymore. Ted's real thirsty. But we don't have anything. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Water, water. Okay, here, have my flashlight. Give me the water. Yes. <laughs> we got to survive one more day, Teddy boy. He <laughs> he All right. Let's see. After making the trade, the man packed his things into the wheelbarrow and departed before leaving and uttered something about bandit activity nearby and how dangerous the area was. We lost a flashlight, but we gained the water. Ted still hasn't recovered his energy. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs a drink right now. No problem, Teddy boy. We got some water for you, bud. You're still too weak to go outside. 
We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you'll end up with more roaches. That's not ideal. If we don't do anything about it, we'll end up all glo glowy just like them. This game is so weird, man. All right, let's do this. You got a little water in you, Teddy boy. You're gonna make it, bud. You're gonna you're gonna be just fine. We still got an axe. You can. I wouldn't eat her. She looks like all the meat's been picked off her bones. What now? Our time will come, but for the time being, we'll just have to adapt to this living situation. They're here. We're here. Let's make the best of it. They're like cockroaches, after all. Ted is still tired. A few days of rest is what he needs. Ted is hungry. <laughs> Poor Ted, man. Oh, like, all his kids left. Everybody's gone. He still can't go outside. We found some weird mushrooms growing on one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe it'd be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. What's the worst thing that could happen? I don't know. Radioactive mushrooms? <gasps> maybe we can become Spider-Man. <gasps> maybe we can become the Incredible Hulk. <gasps> maybe we can become Tony Stark and be smart and a billionaire philanthropist. That'd be cool. Hey, on sec. Yeah, we're taking the mushrooms, man. What's this? Acquire radio to make contact with... Okay, I, I, I can't do that. Let's do this. How am I going to get a radio? Teddy won't even leave. Was that the dog? What was that? Hello? Well, Ted, you got soup in front of you. That's kind of cool. Who's this guy? This looks like Mr. Poopy Butthole. Okay, what do we got here? We learned something today. Tomato soup is our best friend and mushrooms aren't. Yuck. Ted is rested. Ted is no longer hungry. <gasps> That's cool. Time to ration. Well, he's no longer hungry or thirsty, so why would I feed him? Let's see. Scratching on the door can only mean one thing. Our dog friend is back. Race to the door. Not concerning it might be a mutated beast, but luck smiled at us. The free fellow seemed really tired and hungry. Should we, you know what? We're going to feed him because you know why? What else are we going to do? Oh, God, my hair. <laughs> we just gave away the last of our food. Ugh. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what they put in the soup, but man, this stuff is good. We decided the dog needed a name, and the right name for him was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while and was gone the next morning. We can bet he'll be back. Minus one food. Where's water when Ted needs it? Okay, you need... You need some water. Okay, we're running low. I feel like we keep... I feel like we need to send them out on an expedition. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker. We can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought that the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? <laughs> we could do it on our own. The escaping part, not the run ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our ears open. You know, if I... Can I send Ted on an adventure by himself? Is that... Is that something I'm allowed to do? Like, would it just leave the bunker empty while he was gone? If there's one thing we need to do, it's to use the radio on a regular basis. Catching an emergency broadcast that might be true. You know, I don't have a radio. What do you want me to do? Uh, what is it? I can't see here. Um, some of us are keener to go outside than others. Either way, it's time to choose the most able, responsible person for the quest. You should go outside. This guy. See you around, Teddy boy. Now there's nobody in here, so what am I playing? Oh, 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 he may never come back. Is that... What's this? What happened? Are we dead? Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Ted has been outside for far too long, and he has not returned. We fear he isn't coming back. Of all the places he could have perished, this is probably the best one. Or maybe not. We spent 25 days at our shelter... That's it. So it shows every day that you... Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at that. We did make it. Day 25. You perished. I feel like there's a lot of sodium in soup. I don't think you'd want to eat just soup on this little adventure. Um, This is quite enjoyable. I enjoyed this. I survived 25 days. I consumed two and a half water. I consumed 4.25 soup. I defended my shelter never. I had successful expeditions of one of two. I was bought from expeditions. I got two. I made no no decisions, two yes decisions, and that's it. Well, that's interesting. I I kind of really like this, but, oh, geez, that's, like, that's hard. Like, the beginning, I wasn't ready to run around collecting stuff, and the only reason I knew how to is I watched the trailer for the game. That's all I knew is at some point that was going to happen, and I was in no way ready for it at all. <laughs> 
Okay, so not the most successful thing. But I think as a first try when you didn't know what you're doing, 25 days isn't terrible. I think you could do a lot worse than 25 days. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to leave this episode here. I do want to play more of this, actually. I think I'm going to put... I get another episode about this out in the next couple of days, I think, if you guys want to see it, if you don't. But please, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'll just, there's, the, I'm on my knees, people. Do not give away what to do. Do not tell me how to play the game. I want to figure it out on my own. I'm begging you. And since I'm in the comments so often, I'll stumble across it by accidents. I want no help here. None. I want it to go terribly bad over and over again so it's more fun to figure out. If I start learning how to play it, It'll be too easy to beat. So I'm going to leave this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe hit the little bell and and uh, whatever it does. I think it contacts the Google gods, but I could be wrong. I think it, like you set a thing up and then the Google gods show up, but I, I don't know how that works with the YouTube gods. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one thank you again so much for watching love every view i get scapegoat i really like this this is a funny game and i like funny campy games more recommendations like this please soup